We cut gouge and mark all with the Hypertherm PowerMax 45 XP plasma system. All that when we get back, I'm Tim Johnson and this is Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Hypertherm PowerMax 45 XP and to say this is a plasma cutter would be doing it a huge injustice if you will because it does much more than just cutting. Now the XP designation does basically tell us this is an upgrade from a previous PowerMax 45. Now a couple of the upgrades are like the upgraded Duramax torch which you're able to actually lock it out, change consumables without having to shut down the machine and then also the automatic pressure regulator where depending on what you're doing as far as what type of process you're doing, whether you're cutting or gouging or marking, that it will automatically set the pressure based on the amperage and the process that you're doing. So you no longer have to adjust that. Uh, it handles that for you. So there may be a few other things as well, but those are two of the major advances in the XP model that came out just a couple of years ago. What I really like about this unit is you get performance, multifunction, and simplicity all rolled up into this small package. And when I say small package, I mean it because this thing's not much bigger than a briefcase, not much heavier either. And you get 45 amps that's capable of slicing through 5 8 inch thick of steel. Now that's in the 240 volt single phase system as you see it right here. And then you can actually step up to a 480 volt three phase if you have that in your shop. And you can cut up to 7 8 inch thick of steel with the PowerMax 45 XP. Now also you get multi-processes out of that or multi-function. So you can not only cut, but you can gouge, you can mark, uh, you can actually uh, flush cut things. So many different functions that you can get out of this single machine. The simplicity side, very easy to set up, very easy to use. I can tell you in the 20 years I've used plasma cutters, there's not one machine that I've used that was easier to set up nor easier to use. You take your airline with a quick coupler, plug it in the back, or you can hard plumb it if you want to do that too. Uh, and then to hook your work leads up. So basically your ground lead or your work lead just sticks in and turns a quarter or a half a turn, whatever it is. Then the Hypertherm Duramax torch uh, basically just plugs in and locks in and you can pull that out by pushing down the detent and pulling that out. And you're really ready to go. Once you've got power to it, flip the switch on, select how many amps you want, and you're off to the races, whether you're cutting, gouging, what have you. So really simple system to start and simple to use as well. So to cut, basically you select, you've got two items here in the readout. You've got a little uh, green LED that shows up, whether you want cutting or gouging and marking. So gouging and marking is gonna happen under the same setting and the cutting is gonna happen under another setting. Now, we talked about this being the XP and it's an upgrade from an older PowerMax 45. And two of the upgrades are, number one, that it's got an automatic air regulator in it. So no longer do you have to adjust the air based on the work that you're gonna be doing. Once you select the amperage that you're gonna be using and whether you're cutting or gouging, it's gonna automatically set the air pressure where it needs to be set. Now the second major upgrade in the PowerMax 45 XP is the Duramax torch with the lockout here. So used to you'd have to shut the machine down when you change your consumables. Now you see the little green mark there that tells me that's ready to go. I can put it in the lockout mode so you can see it's yellow. Now I can change my consumables or maybe change from a cutting tip to a gouging tip and screw that back in, flip that, so it's green again and I'm ready to go. And then of course you have your safety switch here. So those are two of the major upgrades in the XP is the automatic air regulator and the upgraded Duramax torch. Now some of the functions of this is let's say cutting and I wanted to cut some you know, half inch steel as you see me doing here. I may wanna turn this all the way up to say 45 amps and select cutting. And like I said, it's gonna automatically set my air regulator. And so I flip the safety switch up once I put my torch down on it and pull the trigger and I've got my ground connected, my work lead connected, and I can just basically set this flat on the steel, drag it, and it's going to cut through half inch, five eighths inch steel, no problem at all. If I was cutting quarter inch, I may dial that down to say 25 or 30, and it's going to slice through that fine as well. So as far as cutting goes, very easy to cut. Now, I don't want to get hung up in too many of the specific features of this. This is more kind of an 
overall feature review and we can get more in the details of those individual processes at another time. Uh, but I do want to kind of mention all of them and some of the capabilities of this machine. So in addition to cutting with this, we can also gouge with this. So let's say we've got a eyelet or a pad eye that's been welded onto a machine and we need to get that pad eye off, whether it's a bad weld or maybe we need to weld a new one back on. Well, we want to do the best we can to keep the base metal from distorting or from ruining that base metal. So we can use the gouge mode where we're literally scooping out the weld or the old weld, scooping out the old metal. And think of this as, you know, rather than going kind of straight through the metal, which plasma cutting is going to do, we're going to gouge. And some, something like you'd skip a rock on a lake where you want to get down and that degree or angle of that rock is a lot more parallel to that water than let's say a cut would be perpendicular to it. So the same way, we want to roll that torch tip over and we're using also a different tip that's a little more broad, a little lazier if you will. And we're going to, like I said, scoop out that metal. And if you ever see this in uh, through a lens, you can actually tell that we're actually bending that arc. So in other words, it is kind of skipping off that surface and you'll see the arc kind of bend. And so what we're doing is we're scooping out that weld. So this PowerMax 45 XP actually does very well at gouging. And so we did some gouging. We took out some, uh, some thicker welds on say some quarter inch that was welded to some half inch plate as well as we had some others where we were doing sheet metal. But regardless, rather than just cutting through the metal, we were out, able to scoop out that weld and really not hurt the base metal or do very little damage to the base metal where now you have just a little bit of work with your grinder and you're ready to put a new piece on there. Uh, you may even see pipe fitters using the gouging method. You have a crack in a pipe or some type of fabrication at a plant. And so we need to fix that, fix that crack and you just can't weld over the crack. You gotta gouge that out, you gotta clean it out which you can do with the grinder, but you can also do with the PowerMax 45 XP. So it gouges very well also, and then also in the gouging mode, you get the ability to mark. So rather than cutting through something or even scooping out material, you can do very superficial things where I can, I can fill this, but really barely. It's, it's hardly removed anything. It's just taken the surface and distorted it enough to where you can see a mark on there. The neat thing about this is you can obviously freehand with it as you see here, but you can also hook this into say a CNC table and actually dial in whatever types of designs you want to, whether it's your logos, uh, whether you're marking your pieces that you're fabricating, what have you, it'll do that. This machine right here will handle that as well. So one of the really nice features of this is the ability to be, be able to turn it down to say 10 amps. And that's what we set this at was 10 amps to actually put this on this piece of plate right here. And where before that technology was, was almost impossible, or it was impossible with the old transformer style plasmas and welders, if you will, because we're operating at a high voltage, but really had to step down the amperage, but it didn't work really well. Now with inverter technology, we're able to do that. So this unit goes all the way down to 10 amps, works very well at that, all the way up to 45 amps, slicing through 5 8 inch thick of steel. So, and everywhere in between, gouging works great, marking works great, cutting works great. Uh, the other neat thing about this uh, and what Hypertherm offers is a lot of different accessories and products to be able to do different things with this same machine. So with just changing out consumables, when I say consumables, your, your tip basically. So these will wear out, but they'll last a long time too. It'll last a lot longer than, than other cutting methods. Uh, so this is what they would call their high access. So what this would be used for is, let's say you got a piece of rectangular tubing, say a three by four rectangular tubing, and you've got a hole in the top, but we need to get to the bottom and we can't get there from, from the underside. We got to get through the top side. Well, this is what they call their high access. So now you can get through that hole, with the same torch and be able to cut a hole down there at the bottom or gouge or whatever you need to do. So that's their high access. They also have a, a flush cut and the flush cut enables you, let's say if we had a piece of I-beam here and we need to cut this vertical piece off, but leaning the torch over, we're only gonna get so far and be able to get flush with this down here. Well, it does exactly what we're talking about. Basically it has the plasma that ejects out the side. So you're, you're actually cutting arc is ejecting straight out the side so you can drag it along uh, the horizontal piece and it's gonna cut almost flush that vertical piece where now you've got very little grinding to do. Now, 
what does, say, the PowerMax 45 XP offer that, say, an acetylene cutting torch does it, or let's say some uh, carbon arc uh, gouging as well? Well, a couple of things. Number one, you get a very compact unit that works only, only needs compressed air and electricity, and it's going to work. Uh, other systems are really loud. This is not that loud at all, other than, you know, the, the arc that you hear, but there's, there's not a lot of buzzing. Uh, so you don't have to have a huge air compressor. So just, uh, you know, anything that's going to supply you 90 PSI of air and uh, a little bit of volume to be able to keep up with it, and it's going to run this. So it's going to be a lot easier to set up. It's going to be a lot easier to maintain. Consumables are going to be less and you're going to get a lot more functions out of something like this than one of the other methods. And then I would say the most important piece is the efficiency on the labor side, meaning that after you get done with cutting, uh, so e whether it's cutting or gouging, uh, the amount of cleanup work afterwards is significantly less. So you're running that grinder uh, less of a time to clean up whatever you've left off after cutting and have very little slag after cutting and then after gouging as well, you're gonna have very little cleanup or a lot less cleanup than say if you had an acetylene cutting torch. And I know people get very good at, at, at those other methods, especially at cutting torches. They get very efficient at those, but I'll tell you, uh, there's a lot larger learning curve there than there is here. So efficiency, simplicity, performance, all those things are rolled up here. Now, cost, yes, it's gonna cost you, you know, somewhere around two grand. I believe list price on this is close to 2300 whereas some of the sale prices I've seen down in the 1900 range. This is a really great unit that I would recommend for anybody's shop that's doing fabrication, uh, that's messing with any kind of metals, even whether it's removing spot welds, whether it's cutting half inch plate. Uh, if you're doing any type of fabrication at all, this is really going to save you time and it's going to give you kind of a lot wider spectrum as to what you can do all while taking up the least amount of footprint possible in your shop. So make sure you check them out. Again, it's the Hypertherm PowerMax 45 XP. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and have a great day.